वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू आवर ऑन गोइंग सीरीज ऑफ विजुअल एंड ऑमली डिटेक्शन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट द फर्स्ट ऑटो एंड कोडर यूजिंग पाइटॉर्च बट बिफोर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक एट हाउ द ऑटो एंड कोडर इज स्ट्रक्चर सो बेसिकली वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द कन्वल्यूशन एंड द ट्रांसपोर्ट कन्वल्यूशन विच आर द टू मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द ऑटो एंड कोडर फर्स्ट वी हैव द नॉर्मल इमेज then we pass it through the auto encoder and we we'll try to have a reconstruction of the normal image in the auto encoder first we will reduce the size of our input image to a certain smaller space a latent space later on we will uh, increase the size of the latent image to match the size of our input image so in the first part which we call encoder uh, the size has to be reduced so that's why we use convolution with uh, uh, some pooling method and you can see here uh, in the animation given below that how the convolution operation happens a larger size image gets uh, reduced to a smaller size image but in the next stage in the decoder we have to do the reverse operation where we have to go from a smaller size image to a larger size image in that case we use transposed convolution and the animation for that is given here so here we see just a two cross two uh, image we can uh, have a larger uh, output how is that possible we just uh, multiply each uh, block of the image with a kernel size with a certain kernel size in this case 3 cross 3 and we just convolve it uh, with all the part and wherever there is a common part you can see with a little darker color there the values are added that's it it's a very simple operation but that's what we are going to see how to do in pytorch all right so right now we are in the jupyter notebook for which the link is given in the description below if you can access, you can access that uh, any time so first of all we are going to uh, import some uh, library uh, from torch nn.functional as f and uh, this n this is the most important the nn is uh, the most important library which consists of all the neural network modules in there we uh, the convolution average pooling flatten all the uh, neural network modules are present in this uh, 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 library so first of all we'll import a image this r is to change the formatting uh, of this string because the python path does not understand the windows path so we need to convert it to a linux path that's why you can just write r or then we'll pass it through our transform method which we created in the previous uh, video which which resizes the image and converts to a tensor so if we run this we see that right now the shape of our input is 3 224 cross 224 all right if you plot the image that we just created you can see okay it looks like this it's the same image but reduced to a, a smaller size that's it so now let's comment this out and uh, yeah so next step what we have to do is we have to add an extra dimension so this extra dimension represents the batch size because the pytorch neural network only accepts the input in a batch so we have to add a, a extra dimension just to make it compatible if we add this extra dimension we see that yeah now our shape change to 1 3 2 24 2 24 that's it nothing special now i'll just comment this out and this is the first convolution layer so in the convolution 2d layer we have uh, this is our input channel because we have uh, three rgb channel and our output channel is uh, is basically how many channels uh, will have in the output and then what is the kernel size we are going to use we are going to use four, when you give a single kernel that means 4 cross 4 uh, kernel you are going to use all right so this basically creates our uh, convolution operation and then we are going to operate the convolution operation in our input image tensor if you see the the shape of the image after the first convolution you see so right now the three channels changed to 128 channels and the shape decreased a little bit because we are using four kernels without padding the uh, it was before 224 now it reduced to 221 all right to the next step which is the average pooling layer yeah so what i did is i first uh, declared i created a new layer operation the average pooling operation uh, from nn dot average pool 2d module i am using kernel size of 2 and stride of 2 i name it ap1 then i operate that ap1 on my uh, the data i got from here 
and I just printed out the shape. So now you see, now my size decreased to almost half. So similarly, I did the same operation twice. And now let's see what is the X shape has become. Now my latent space has reduced uh, pretty drastically. Now I have only 25, uh, the, uh, I have 256 channel, but uh, for each, uh, each uh, activation map, I have 25 cross 25 from 224. All right, now next step, this is our latent space. We got to our latent space. Now our goal is to go back to the original set because it's an auto encoder. So for that, we'll use uh, convolution transpose. So you see here, so convolution transpose 2D we are using. The channel has to be same. Uh, so the in channel has to be uh, same with the uh, last layer as output channel. So the output channel here is 256. So the input channel here has to be 256. Then output channel depends on you and uh, kernel size uh, 4 and you're using strike 2 and output padding 1. So now let's see what is our X shape has become. Yeah, so now we increased our X shape to 53 cross 53. We do the same uh, convolution transpose twice more to finally have our shape same as the input. That's it. All right, so now you understand how the convolution operation happens in uh, uh, PyTorch. But the problem is we are not going to, we, we cannot train a model like this in PyTorch. We need to create a specific model, which has a uh, one method called forward method. And uh, it, it automatically keeps, keeps track of all the backward propagation. So let's uh, go ahead and see how to do that. All right, now we'll see how to create a legit neural network from the small blocks of convolution we did before. So for that, first we have to create a class and we'll name it whatever you want. You can name here. I, I just name it auto encoder and it has to uh, inherit inherit from this NN module uh, class. So in Python, the class is like a blueprint for creating objects. It contains uh, methods which are also functions and attributes which are also variables that define its behavior. So uh, this init is called a constructor. So this uh, so whenever you create an instance of this autoencoder class, it will automatically uh, trigger this function. And uh, this function will automatically be triggered. And here self refers to the instance of the class. Then next one is uh, super uh, dot in it. So what, what uh, this will do is as you are subclassing from this, uh, this uh, super parent class, we need to do the initialization of uh, this its constructor as well. So this uh, line exactly does that. All right. And uh, next we are creating our encoder, two functions, encoder and decoder. So we are wrapping it in the NN dot sequential, which is basically a PyTorch model of sequential method, which is very similar to Keras sequential. But here, then we are adding the convolution 2D and then the ReLU function, average pool, convolution 2D, ReLU, average pool, and so on and so forth. Same for the decoder, we use the transposed. And the one thing to note here is at the end, we are using sigmoid function. It might be counterintuitive because we, we are not doing any classification. We have, it can be treated as a, let's say, uh, a regression problem, but why you are using sigmoid? So the main reason is because in our output, all the values needs to be between zero to one. All right, so that's why the nn dot sigmoid is just there to restrict the output to stay between zero to one, that's it. And then another important part is this forward method. What does this, this uh, it's mandatory to have a forward function in any neural network you, uh, you make. So what will happen? Our input is X. It will go through the encoder. This is the after encoder X, and then it will go through the decoder. And lastly, we get the X and this will return the X after the decoder part, which will have the same um, shape as our input X. After this part, after we uh, create the structure of the class, then we'll create an instance of this class. For that, we just have to call the auto encoder uh, class and this is the instance is created. So for the, for uh, for example, I am just taking a random number which will be, which will be the shape of our input image. Then I'm passing it through the model and you see the output dot shape. It's the same as the input. All right. 
So that's how the declaration of neural network happens in uh, PyTorch.